In this lesson, I will be going over the properties of logarithms. And logarithms are just another way of looking at exponents. So you're probably going to see a lot of overlap between the properties of exponents and the properties of logs. There's a few things about logarithms I want to share with you before we get into the properties. Logs are helpful when we want to solve exponential equations because they are inverses of each other. Like squares and square roots, they undo each other so that we can solve for a variable. A log is base 10, but it can be expressed in other bases also. So you may see some different stuff. Let's look at some log properties down here. I have, I like to use a slide rule. And I think this is pretty cool. I learned this when I was working on my master's degree and I really like it. Um, we're going to use a slide rule, and if you would like access to the slide rule, you'll have to message me. So you see on the screen, I have two different rulers here, and we're just doing basic addition, but these are logarithm rulers. So the values that you see, log 1, log 2, log 3, those are actually based on real values, but they're just pre-done for you for the sake of the lesson. In the first example, it says do log two plus log three. So I'm using two different rulers to express one is log two and the next one is log three. So I'm starting, my starting point is log two. And then below that, I'm gonna line up my second ruler starting at log two. And I'm trying to see, it's not quite lined up, almost you can hopefully see where log three on the bottom, where it hits on the top. It looks like it's lining up with six. So log two plus log three put us at log six. And that's what we're going to record over here. It's already recorded. The next one, we have log five plus log eight. So we go over here. We're starting at log five. That's my starting point it's where I want to line it up. And I'm trying to see, line it up a little bit better, where log eight lines up on the top. So if you locate log eight, above log eight is log 40. Log five plus log eight is log 40. Then we can do log 8 plus log 10. Zoom out a little bit. So we're starting at log 8. I'm going to move it over a little bit so I have some more room. I'm lining up the bottom one. And it's not quite lined up. There we go. Log 10. Still a little bit off. looks to be lined up log 8 plus log 10. This 10 looks to be lined up with log 80. So you might be able to see a pattern emerging. If not, we will do one more. Hopefully you can see it. It was log 3 plus log 20. And log 20 lines up with 60. So let's take a look at these. 2, log 2 plus log 3 was log 6. Log 5 plus log 8 was log 40. Log 8 plus log 10 was log 80. So maybe addition translates into multiplication. When we add logs, that yields multiplication. And if you remember back to our properties of exponents, just one multiplication here, uh, properties of exponents, when we had two exponential components being multiplied of the same base, we added the exponents. So this is the same property. 
we've got addition and it translates into multiplication. So if we have two logs with the same base, that's important. When it doesn't have a base, it's base 10. Log x plus log y, we can consolidate, consolidate that to log x times y. And this is gonna help us when we get into solving equations, trust me. Next example, we have subtraction, and you might be able to guess, if you know your properties of exponents, you might be able to guess what subtraction translates into. But if not, let's look at the slide rules. Log 10 minus log five. Zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna move this over this way because now I'm subtracting, so I'm gonna be going the other way. Log 10 minus log five. So I'm gonna line up log five, almost. So I've lined up the 10 and I'm trying to subtract, so go back five. That puts me at log two. In the next example, we have log 200 minus log 20. So we're gonna start at 200 and go back 20. The end of my bottom ruler is lined up at 10. So log 200 minus log 20 is log 10. Now log 90 minus log three. When I start at 90 and I line up the three under it because that's what I'm going back, it ends up at 30. So you might be able to see a pattern emerging here if you can, pause the video and try to see if you can make a hypothesis about what's happening and fill in the rest of the table and then come back. Hopefully you found that you get log three for the next one, log three again for the next one, and log five for the last one. And what's happening is when we subtract logs, that translates into division. So our rule is log x minus log y, we can consolidate that to log x over y or divided by y. I will say if you wanna go up here and finish these, you can, we would get log 300 and log 3000. So addition translates to multiplication and subtraction translates to division, which is very closely related to exponents. Now we are not gonna use necessarily, we maybe can on the first one, but uh, we're not gonna use the slide rule for the next one. We're gonna use the skills that we learned in the previous examples to help us with this next one. And basically we've got this, what's happening is we have this power inside of our log. And what that's meaning, if we use the definition of an exponent, that means three times three times three, which means log three plus log three plus log three. So we're gonna start at the end and work our way. We're gonna kind of go back and forth just to show that you can do that. Log two plus log two plus log two plus log two if we can picture the ruler in our mind, we would go two plus two was actually multiplication to be four, plus two would be eight, plus two would be 16. And if I were to write that out the long way, this would be what I just mentioned, two times two times two, because addition is um, translates to multiplication which is log of two to the fourth. And so I want you to notice here what's happening. We have four of these log twos, four log twos. 
and it looks like log two to the fourth. And what that translates into is there are four log twos. So those two things are the same. Log two to the fourth is the same as four log twos. So if I use that, um, or if I do the next one, I've got two log fives. That's gonna be, if I do the, um, translate it to multiplication, that's five times five, which is five squared. And that means that two log five is the same as log five squared. And if I use that on the next one, it's all ties in together. It's all very exciting. Uh, six log sevens means that there's going to be six of those being multiplied. So if there's a number being multiplied a certain amount of times, that is the number, the value of the exponent. So log seven to the sixth, because it's being multiplied six times. Isn't that so cool? This one would be log three to the third because it's being multiplied three times. We know that multiplication and addition go hand in hand and we kind of go back and forth between them, but essentially what's happening is we're multiplying it three times. And then if you can, go ahead and pause the video and fill out the rest of the table and then come back and check. You should get log two to the fourth, log five squared, and log four to the fifth. So what's happening is when you have a number out front, that's actually the exponent on the log, like that. Which means that the coefficient is the number of times the log is multiplied which is the definition of an exponent. So it becomes an exponent. Isn't that so cool? I love logs. Logs are probably one of my favorite things to do. That's all I have for the properties of logs. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to help.